Right then, this episode is all about seaplanes or float planes or whatever you want to call them. Basically, I built this thing, which is a Schneider Trophy inspired racer plane. The other day I was watching some old archive videos of the Schneider Trophy, which was an air race in the 1920s and 30s. It was the sort of pinnacle of aviation at the time. It was quite literally the fastest people on the planet going as fast as they could in airplanes and competing for this trophy. So this got me thinking about the idea of building a seaplane um, to try and learn a little bit more about the intricacies of float plane design because there are a lot of things which go into a float plane to make it work properly. One thing, for instance, is the, the step on the floats here. So with this idea in place, I set to work designing this aircraft and literally just sort of jumped into Adobe Illustrator and started drawing an airframe up. I'm really getting the hang of, uh, of doing this on the computer now instead of just using a pencil like I used to do. And that was really helpful because then I could convert that to a DXF file, which is a laser cutting file, and cut out this airplane on the laser cutters at my work. After that, I glued it all together and slapped some Ferrari red paint on it to give it that sort of Italian look and uh, hopefully that will make it fly faster. I mean, that's what everyone says. So um, in a minute, we're gonna go out to the lake and test it. Um, but I was thinking that instead of just sort of testing it in a rather boring way and just flying it around a bit, the whole challenge of this plane will be to get it going as fast as possible. So we'll do a Schneider Trophy inspired uh, timed run, which will be between two fixed points and we will measure the distance between those fixed points and then time it over that distance so we can work out how fast it's going. All right, so here's what the timing thing's gonna look like. This is the lake that we're going to be using. I've measured 150 meters on it. Uh, someone will be standing here. They'll raise a flag as soon as we fly past here and I will be standing around this embankment. Um, and as soon as I've uh, flown past that point, I'll be able to work out how fast um, I, the plane was going because we'll time that distance. Of course, I could just put a GPS thing in this to get a sort of GPS red speed but um, I don't have one, <laughs> which is one reason. I could put my phone in it, but that's probably, uh, if I want to get it back, it might not be the best, uh, best idea. But I should let you know that this has got a very standard power package in it. So it's got a Flight Test Power Pack C, which isn't the most powerful motor out there in the world. And this motor is paired with a four cell, 1000 milliamp power battery under the under the bonnet here. Of course, I think we could do some modifications to this in the future to get it going even faster. But anyway, we'll get to that in a future video. We'll put a really big motor in it, maybe, if it survives today, and um, yeah, see how fast it can really, really, really go. Okay, for now though, I'm really looking forward to getting this on the water. So I should be meeting some friends there who will help me with this timed thing and to film the video. So um, yeah, let's go there now and uh, see how it, how it performs. Hello everyone. This is Mike, this is Will. Hello. This is your first day on the job, isn't it? Mm. So yeah. what's your job? Um, flag guy. Your f <laughs> Go with the flag. F official title. Official title. The plan is to first, what, what's the plan, actually? I don't know, it's your plan. <laughs> so, so you're gonna well, do a test run. Yeah. And then we're gonna do a times run. Yeah, so I'm just gonna set the plane up um, and then we'll get started. Uh, so things that I think might go wrong with this uh, plane First of all, I'm not sure if the step's in the right place on the floats um, to get it up onto its, uh, well, up onto the step um, when it's hydroplaning. Um, second of all, if it flips over, uh, there's no way of getting it back except for relying on the wind, which is a problem we've had before. And also, it's quite windy, so that means that uh, it's going to be harder to control. By the way, I've also got flaps on here, so I can uh, get a bit more of a, um, uh, well, just a bit more lift, I suppose, on the, uh, the takeoff and landing. Let's see how it goes. Let's put it in the water. See how much it leaks. It's quite leaky. <laughs> so let's try and minimise the time it's on the uh, the water. As with all good seaplanes. <laughs> you impressed for? Yeah. <laughs> now test two. I've never actually flown a proper seaplane from the water before, so bear that in mind if it flips over. <laughs> Yeah, the wind's 
really coming from the other way. I'll go really low like this. Okay, it seems to be going well, so uh, let's put it down, try and get it in one piece, and then uh, see if we can do the time thing. Right, that seemed to go well. We just got a cheer, but I think that was the cricket over the, in the other field. Cool. Yeah, it worked. Hooray. Okay, um, let's do the speed test. Okay, well, you have your brief. I think I'll do that. Do what? I'll just be like this. Yeah, as long as we know that it's down and then suddenly up. Anti-clockwise. That's what we... Or I could do a um, penalty. <laughs> Foul. <laughs> Offside. Will's on his way. Yep. See you later, Will. <laughs> Hi, team. Got my flag. Happy to be a, a part of uh, Project Air. I hope to bring a, an impish persistence and a can-do attitude to proceedings. Oh yeah, he's okay, so he stood in the middle of the White middle. House, can you see it? He's flagged. Okay. Oh. Okay, I didn't quite get to us, but... <laughs> might want to re-go, might want to re-go. Okay, can we down? Not the best, to be honest. <laughs> I can't get it to go straight. Probably be able to get an approximate reading from that. <laughs> so I'll try it once more. Yeah, even closer. Now. Yeah. Oh, we're running out of batteries. Okay, I think we're about to run out of juice. Coming down. Shit. Oh, success! That was really difficult to control, but uh, but hopefully, hopefully we uh, got a few decent runs out of that, and uh, we can time it. So, yeah, cool. Thanks very much for watching, um, we'll see you in the next one. Um, press subscribe if you like this one, uh, and you're not subscribed, and like press it. Press subscribe if you didn't like this one. Uh, yeah, and watch, don't do that. <laughs> and um, watch some more, um, we'll be making loads more videos soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.